Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you uh, configure Windows XP so that you can see your file extension. You can see that um, it, with these different files, I've, these are my movies that I'm making. I've got MPEG4 AVI files, and you know you can see the um, little the little icon, the little thumbnail thumbnail icon, which tells you what kind of file it is. But it can be um, misleading like uh, this mp4 uh, file is not really necessarily a QuickTime file. QuickTime is just the program that opens it. So, um, and uh, this AVI file, you know, it says AVI, but oftentimes these little pictures can uh, be misleading or, or can't, you know, might not be very helpful. So it helps to be able to see this three-letter file extension, and sometimes it could be a two-letter file extension, right? And, um, but for most people, the, what they see is this. If we go to I'll turn it off, I'm going to turn off that file extension, and this is what most people see. Okay, when they look at their files, if they have just have a default, they don't know what the file extension is. And why is that? Well, because if you change the file extension in Windows, you effectively disable the file from opening correctly. So uh, Microsoft uh, doesn't necessarily by default want the average user to see the file extension since it can uh, ruin a file, destroy a system file, that kind of stuff. So it's basically hidden from view. So how do I see my file extensions? And this is really important, especially if you're going to do web design or any kind of web development. You want to know what your file extension is. And you want to be able to see that right away. Okay, um, so you just go to open up any window, any folder or directory, and go to Tools, Folder Options, and then you click on the View tab. And right down here, probably at the bottom of the window, it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Make sure you uncheck that. And now, when you click OK, you'll see that you can see your file extensions. And um, it's a basic thing, but is uh, pretty helpful um, when you're starting to work with computers.